Hey YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel web for all things geeky and cool. Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back to a very important and kind of epic 600th video on YouTube. I've been doing this for nearly four years now and this particular Funko review is going to rank up there as probably one of my more important Funko reviews, mainly because of the content that we're talking about. I am humbled and proud to bring this content to you guys, my viewers and subscribers. And of course, as the thumbnail really showed, we're talking about the pop game. Games, Dritster Erden and Gwen Wyvar two pack, of course, it is a two pack, part of the Dungeons and Dragons line. Now, if you don't know anything about Dritster Erden, the character really debuted by the author who created him, named R.A. Salvatore, back in 1988 for this book right here called The Crystal Shard, part of the Forgotten Realms world. It's kind of the go to default fantasy realm when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons. Now, back then, DD was held, or Dungeons and Dragons, was held by a company called TSR who is now acquired by Wizards of the Coast. And these two guys right here, the both Dritz, a dark elf, and his companion, a panther, an onyx panther, kind of broke me back into my love of fantasy. It reignited that love and desire for fantasy. And that's one of the reasons why I'm very happy. This is my 600th video, and I'm proud to really showcase this off to you guys. Of course, it is a GameStop exclusive, which is kind of a weird thing going on right now, which we'll talk more about that in the breakdown segment. This is going to be a deep dive breakdown. The video is going to run a little longer than my traditional videos. I'm going to go up close looking at these guys. I'll bring the camera down very close so you can really get an up close view of these characters. And with that being said, we're going to do a full breakdown. We'll look at the packaging as a whole. We'll look at the paint articulation and conclude in final thoughts for you, the viewer. Should you spend the money and pick up the pop games, Dritster Erden, Gwen Wyvar, two pack GameStop exclusive. And with that being said, let's go to a breakdown. All right, guys, we're in a breakdown segment looking at the pop games, Dritster Erden, Gwen Wyvar, two pack part of the Dungeons & Dragons line, GameStop exclusive. Now, the very first thing we do in a breakdown segment is look at the packaging and presentation. This, again, is a two-pack version of Dritz and Gwen Wyvar. At the top here, we have Pop Games. Of course, it does say Dritz and Gwen Wyvar two-pack. Great window box display version of Dritz. It is a GameStop exclusive, which we'll talk more about that when we get these guys out of packaging because it's kind of important to talk about what's going on with this particular two-pack and the difficulty is finding out in the wild right now. Of course, we have shots of both Dritz and Gwen Wyvar, the Dungeons & Dragons logo right here. On this side, we have Dritz, and on this side, we have Gwen Wyvar, does say two-pack. On the back of the packaging, you have both characters with the TSR logo on the back right there, which looks awesome, and the characters that are available in this particular wave. I think the packaging looks really, really good, and the finding them collected like this is very, very neat as well. With that being said, let's get these guys out of packaging and continue the breakdown segment. Right, guys, we have our Dritzer Erden and Gwen Wyvar, part of that two-pack out of packaging. And the first thing we do to take Funko's out of packaging is look at the paint and articulation. Let's focus first on Dritz and come back to Gwen Wyvar. First and foremost, if you don't know, Dritzer Erden is what they call a dark elf, or otherwise known as a drow. Drows have a very bad rap as being evil. They're dark elf who live underground. That's the idea of what they call drow or dark elf. They're known to be evil. Dritz was the kind of the breakaway star of the drow race because he's a good guy. He's what they call a ranger. For you fans of Lord of the Rings, think Aragorn. That's the idea of Dritz. He's a ranger, he's a woodsman, and he has an animal companion. In this case, it's Gwen Wyvar over here. But Dritz is very, very cool because he's not your typical warrior because he fights with a pair of scimitars. Curved swords, they're technically curved swords. They don't look curved, but they are. They're two magical blades. Uh, you have this one right here, this silver colored one, uh, which is known as, they call it Twinkle. It's a, in D&D terms, it is a sword, a, it's called a defending sword. Over here, this yellow one is called Icing Death. It's a frost brand that he found in a ice dragon. We fought an ice dragon, him and another character called Wolfgard. Think of it like a Conan or a barbarian. When he killed this ice dragon, he plundered this sword. Now, you can't really tell here because it's not focusing, but on right here on this side of the blade, there's runes that are kind of drawn in. It might be hard to notice because it's not focusing super well, but that's what there is. There's runes on that blade, which is, an I think it's an elven blade. Blade. And it's it's like what they call a frost blade or a frost brand or a frost sword. It's a very cool weapon, very very neat. Uh, I love the way he looks. His face. If you look at the hair, first and foremost, the hair kind of drapes in the front right here. This hair dangles down. He has 
purple eyes. That is how the character is portrayed in the novelization and both the, the novels and the comics for Dritz. He has purple eyes. It's a very, very cool, very different sort of stark appearance of a drow. Again, he's dark skinned. Uh, he does have leather armor. It might not come across very, very well on camera, but there's sort of a lot of buckles and bobs all over the armor. It's brown. There's uh, there's sort of a gold trim coming off here and here. He does have a green cloak that sort of drapes across the character and it sort of blows in the wind behind him. Like that, the way it looks there. It looks very, very neat. Now, articulation for Dritz is extremely limited because his head will spin, but it usually gets caught up. Uh, I, would, I kind of moved the head around a little bit earlier and it, get, it was very, very stiff right there. Now, mine is making a very weird noise. I'll hold up to the mic so you can hear it. I think something might have broke inside this. I don't know. That's one reason I'm happy getting another two-pack for this character. Now, Dritz doesn't fight a typical way. He's lightning fast. He fights very, very quickly with two swords simultaneously. It's a two-sword fighting style that he has. But I love the way Dritz looks. Looks very, very neat. Now let's bring Gwen Wyvar in, his panther, his loyal animal companion. Now, this is not a cat that comes around all the time with Dritz. This is another magical item that Dritz has, otherwise known as a figurine of wondrous power. It's a statue of a panther that lives in what they call the astral plane. He would put it on the floor, he would summon Gwen Wyvar, it would appear in a bunch of smoke, and appear in front of him as a full-grown panther. I love the way it looks, and Funko nailed Gwen Wyvar here because they do animals so well for Funko. They've done dogs, they've done cats, they know how to do animals, and they nailed this one out of the park. This screams Gwen Wyvar to me, a Onyx Panther. It usually would stay, I think he can do it once every, I want to say every few days. It usually lasts for about, I think it's an hour at most, but I could be wrong on the time frame that he stays, or Gwen Wyvar, which is a she, stays with Dritz. He found it in his early travels, the figurine wonders power. I love the way Gwen here looks, the deep yellow eyes, the mouth right there, the teeth looks very, very cool, all the paws. Um, there is articulation for Gwen Wyvar. The head will spin. Uh, it does get caught by the mouth right here. I don't know if you can notice right there. The jaw does cause it to get stuck, but you can push past it with just a little bit of hindrance. I love the way Gwen here looks. Looks awesome. Great panther. Great representation for the Gwen Wyvar character that's kind of attached to Dritz. It's his loyal companion. Has it through all of his travels. I love the way Gwen looks with Dritz. So I'm going to bring them both back into the shot here uh, so you can see them side by side. They look awesome together. And again, this is a fully grown panther in Dritz travel. Uh, she can only stay for a short amount of time, as I mentioned, before she would disappear back to the astral plane. But I like how they did it as a two-pack. I think that is awesome to get both these characters and one fail swoop. I hope there's more Dritz stuff that comes out in D&D. &D. Um, I hope they make the companions of the hall. You have Dritz in, that, in, in part of the group. You have Wolfgar. You have Caterpillar and you have Regis, which was a halfling. Uh, Caterbury was a, a female human who was raised by uh, Brunor, who was a dwarf, who was another member of the Companions of the Hall as well. So you had Dritz, Brunor, Wolfgar, Caterbury, and Regis. Those five characters that represented the Companions of the Hall. And I'm very happy and proud to present both Dritz and Gwen Wyvar to you guys. With that being said, let's go to final thoughts and wrap up this video. Okay, guys, final thoughts from the Pop Games, Dritz to Erden, and Gwen Wyvar, two-pack part of the Dungeons & Dragons GameStop exclusive line. Should you pick this up for your collection? Again, price point was about $22, $23 US. You have to ask yourself the all-important questions. A, are you a fan of D&D? B, are you a fan of fantasy? C, are you a fan of Dritz and Gwen Wyvar? If you answer yes to any one of those questions, you have to pick this up for your collection. I'm very happy to not get not just this one, but I have another pre-order at GameStop going to be coming to me as well because I want to have one to leave in package and one to display. But right here is the important part that we talked about in the breakdown segment of this video. It's extremely difficult to find these guys in the wild, but for whatever reason, the pre-orders, instead of being shipped to the GameStop locations, were shipped back to their warehouses. Why they did that, I don't know. And it's gonna be reshipped back to those GameStops, but I don't know what the delay is or what the screw up was. I luckily found this on another, when they sold out originally, they went back up for pre-order and for sale. I was lucky to get this one drop shipped to my home. And I think it's an 
awesome set of pops. I love these pops, and I highly recommend anybody who's into fantasy pops to pick this up. The price point, again, is about $22, $23 US. I highly, highly recommend this two-pack. And I want to thank everybody who watched my video, my 600th video on YouTube. Remember to click the like button bottom of the page. Click the subscribe button with a picture of my face. When you subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to be notified of my latest videos. And of course, last but not least, you can click Windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next video. And bye-bye. Mm -hmm.